Hi, I'm Pat Kirchen. I'm a mechanical engineering professor at the University of British Columbia, and I'm working in the Clean Energy Research Center. I'd like to tell you a bit about our research here. Uh, our main focus is reducing the environmental impact of energy conversion systems, and this would be an example of a very practical energy conversion system. It's a single cylinder diesel engine. What we look for is ways of improving the efficiency. So we're trying to find ways of getting more useful output, more work for less fuel that we put in. We're looking at ways of reducing the emissions, whether it be a particulate, a solid emission, or if it's a gaseous emission like NOx or hydrocarbons, things that have an environmental or a health impact. The other thing we look at, and I'll tell you a little bit about today, are alternative fuels such as natural gas. So what we're looking at here is a single cylinder research engine, and we use this to probe into different combustion mechanisms. And in particular, what we're gonna to see today is how we might look at natural gas combustion. And this is a very purpose-built engine where what we can do is we can actually look inside the engine using high-speed cameras. And what we've done is we've placed a mirror inside the engine where we have a reflection of what goes on inside the combustion chamber. And so to run this engine, we have to run it a little bit differently than we would in a real engine. You'll see it spinning around in the videos where we run or where we spin the engine, and every once in a while we fire the engine so you see the combustion. And what we do is we probe that with high-speed cameras using different wavelengths. So some of the stuff that we look at is just understanding what can we see and learn from how the combustion takes place. And other things, we have to look at things that we don't see with the naked eye, perhaps in the ultraviolet light, and there we can understand more about the combustion process. A typical test for us to, to image inside the combustion chamber is quite an involved process. First, we have to prepare the engine, which can take quite a bit of time, days or more. And then when we actually run the test, we have to spin the engine up to speed, the piston starts moving, but because we have windows and mirrors inside the engine, we can't run it continuously like you would in a normal engine. So what ends up happening is you let it spin and the piston's moving, but you only inject fuel every 15 or 20 cycles. And we do that to control the temperature of the window and prevent anything from breaking. But what that lets us do is then see exactly how the fuel is injected and how it burns for those three cycles where it does actually get imaged. The high overhead of this is really paid off by the fact that we can now look inside the engine and understand exactly how the fuel is being converted.